Yo guys, what is going on? It is your boy Nick from on the foot market guys I have a great video for everyone today. It's gonna to be a video that honestly is such a uh, Analytical video looking forward to tomorrow So this video is gonna be very focused on investing because tomorrow we're gonna to have a big footies Is it tomorrow? It's gonna be the day after tomorrow. I think they're doing footies every three days We're investing for the footies left mid winner I know a lot of you guys wanted some more specific investing videos for like footies and things like that I'm going to talk about what I think the requirements will look like, who will win, and all that kind of stuff. And then we're going to help you guys make some coins. Look, if you guys do enjoy the video today, it means the world if you guys could drop a thumbs up. Um, and then obviously just let me know in the comments down below where you guys are at situationally. I, I got through yesterday's video. Um, I know a lot of people have questions right now. I got through... Look, Glick is up. Wow. Um, I was able to answer over 50 questions yesterday uh, on, on yesterday's upload on, on, on team of the season cards uh, on the market. So if you guys have questions, man, get in the comments down below. I'm trying my best. It's hard to get everybody on Twitter, all that kind of stuff. I, I really appreciate all you guys watching the video. Um, all right, end of that story. So so anyways, we have footies left mid uh, voting here. And this is up on my Instagram around the foot market. I post a lot of kind of stuff like this. Uh, on my Instagram, if you guys don't follow it, you guys can drop it a follow. I'm, I'm always really interactive with everyone on Instagram. Um, and you guys can see some of the homies are coming in with the comments there. But you have the option between Balde Diao, De La Feo, and Martial. Now, I think Martial is going to steal this one. I don't think this is going to be a situation where people hold the 83. Um, everyone's going to vote for Martial. Martial will most likely be about a 91 rated card. So he will be super overpowered. Now, if we go on to Footbin, and we take a look at Jordan Lukaku. He had an 85 rating. You know, we don't even need to go on Footbin. He had an 85 rating. With a Belgian player and a Calcio A player, right? Um, so, look, it's I, I don't think Jordan Lukaku, honestly, is that high in demand. Um, so I don't know if a ton of people are actually going and doing this SBC. I might do it uh, just to have it for my club. I'm, not, I'm still not sure if I'm doing this one. Um, I'm not in love with it, to be honest. Like, I'm not in love with the idea of Jordan Lukaku. Um, SBC-wise, I just don't think that this is totally worth it. Um, however... Look, it's it's 85 rated. So this is this tells me that Martial is probably going to be 86 rated because Martial will be a little bit higher in rating than an 88 rated. Martial is going to probably be about a 90 or 91 rated. So Mar Antonio Martial should be probably an 86 rated squad, and I'm thinking a Premier League player and a French player. So it's it's all about then like okay, like how do we find the the connection right? Like who's an investment? Who's a guy that covers both of that stuff right? And it's something that. Look, 60 chemistry is not a ton. If it was 70, I think this stuff will go up more. Um, I'm, I'm looking right now. There's a few things at first glance that I like. It's Koscielny. But the problem with Koscielny is I think he's over 4K right now. So he's too expensive. All the 84s are really inflated. That's what I don't like about it. How's Hugo Lloris doing? So Lloris is down a ton. Lloris is actually a really interesting one. And I think if it's an 86 rating, to be honest, Lloris could be a pretty decent investment. Um, and I'm just talking with you guys today on a video. Kind of just speculating and talking about what do I think are going to be the requirements. Look, I think Martial, oh, I think he's going to win. Um, Yoris is about 20k on both consoles, and he hasn't been that price in a while. Now his price range is 50k and 37 respectively on both consoles. So honestly, it's not that bad of a look. If I were to get a Yoris or two, I'm going to get him on bid. Uh, if there are any, and it doesn't look like there's any good ones on bid. So I think I'm going to just pick up one. Uh, guys, this is not, I don't know if I would really mass invest this, but there are some ones that I would really look at. Um, and I would just try to if you guys are, if you guys want to do investing for this for me The way to go is definitely you guys should be picking up um, You should definitely pick up 80 like 84 85 86 is in the Premier League That's probably what I would look at and there's some specific ones that I really 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 like right now um, The first one is probably gonna be Petr Cech um, And he is I think 10k is he 10k? He's 10k right now. So check check is a guy who he, I'll tell you guys right now, just from experience, he went really high last time we got an SBC. Um, he didn't go high yesterday, but the last time we had an actual SBC, uh, where, uh, you know, like 86s were genuinely required, he spiked up to 22,000 coins. So right now he's chilling kind of around that 10K range. So it makes me really, really enjoy him as an investment. I like 86s a lot heading into Martial. And I think that a lot of people are going to end up going with uh premier league players as they do complete the squads i think a lot of people it's, it's easiest for people um another one that is down a lot in value is, is sesc fabregas um and he is he is pretty damn low i gotta say like he's pretty low i don't know if he was 12k so he's a little bit higher he's a little higher because he's a central midfielder and the thing with sesc that's awesome is he provides a certain linkage to everyone like being a center mid that is spanish and in the premier league is so beneficial for chemistry reasons. I mean, it helps out so much because he offers 
so many different ways where you can flex them into a a, a perfect chemistry team and, and things like that. So there's so many good things about that um, as an investment. Uh, and then you look at just in general, if you go on to flipping guys, you should be able to and flipping guys, by the way, is the go. If you go on to flipping, um, there should be some pretty easy ways for you guys to kind of like identify investments here. What I would do is I would start to stack up right now. 85s are, are most likely not going to be amazing to buy. And here's why Lukaku is just an 85. So you guys can see here. Wow. Is that Mkhitaryan at that price? You guys can see here that like 85s are a little expensive. You can see that Murata is an 85 rated and Murata is 8.2K. So because Jordan Lukaku has an 85 rating, 85s are a little bit pricey. Um, so what I would do is I will get rid of 85s and I will go look at 86s. And I think Martial is going to be that 86 rating. I really do. Uh, can't tell you guys definitively, but when you have Fabregas, uh, check even Ramsey, Ramsey at 12K. Liverpool Coutinho is 14K and Liverpool Coutinho is out of packs. That's an interesting one. Liverpool Coutinho is a very interesting one. That's out of packs. So that one is a very interesting one. I'm going to go check that one out. And then we have Socrates, who's a new transfer or new-ish rather. Um, and, and, and you can see Socrates, Alderweireld, those guys go up to 20, 21. The only thing that's not amazing right now about this investment, and I'll, and I'll be honest with you guys, because like you guys know, I'm honest with you guys. The only thing right now that's not amazing, and why is this getting packed so much? So the only thing that's not amazing is the fact that all team of the seasons and most high rated cards are pretty low in price. Like Nils Peterson, for example, right? The guy I was talking about with you guys, Nils Peterson is um, like a 94 rated and he's like 30,000 coins. So that stuff makes SPCs a lot easier to complete. However, I think at 13, 14 K for a lot of these kind of players, like you really just can't go wrong. Um, I just don't, I don't see a way where you go wrong with these guys. You know, it, it just feels such a, like, like a good, right investment. And we did just get out bid on something. Um, no, we won, we won Peter check for 9.7 K. So I'll take that. I'm very happy with that one. Um, it's going to be hard to win a lot of these probably under, it's going to be hard to win a lot of these under 10,000 coins. Um, I'm probably just going to, cause I want to keep my, I want to keep my watch list to like pretty occupied. Um, so other than this. Look, this is, this is based off the fact that I think Martial is going to win. Um, if Martial does not win, then these investments most likely won't be amazing. Um, just so you guys know. Like, they'll be all right, but they won't be great because Mar if Mar this, is all for the pr this is all for the idea that they're going to require one Premier League player and, um, and maybe a player from France. So if you guys want to look as well, you guys can also go look at players from France. That's another way you guys can do it. You guys can look at players from France. Um, and wow, Rufier is low. Okay, so Rufier is actually an interesting one. I would like to go on a flipping and just see with French players, like what do we have? Let's go French between the ratings of 85 and 88, right? Let's put 85 to 88 and let's get French on here. I want to get French for you guys and then I'll take you guys over there because this is something that is interesting. I will be interested to see like what kind of rating that provides. Let me check that out. Rufier 6.7, Matuidi 8.6. So Rufier is your cheapest French player in between the ratings of 85 and 88 by a lot. Like, by a lot. 6.7K is the cheapest, um, and, and that's what he is. He's the cheapest by a lot. And if I want to go check out his daily graph, I can tell you guys that he was 8K. He hasn't been under, under 7K in a few days, and he's been mostly over 8K for most of footy. So I think what I'll do is I'll go see if I can pick one up. Uh, and put it in my club and this kind of investing man. This is safe now. This is for Tony Martial But again golds will always rise up when we do get SPCs. Um, you guys know that by now So expect a lot of these golds to go up Regardless when we do get the SPC and I have a duplicate in my club. Wow. So I didn't even know I already have a duplicate um, But yeah, th this kind of stuff is pretty safe investing and that's why I like putting this content out on YouTube um, Because I think that this stuff for you guys is stuff that's a way to just kind of it's a trend of making guaranteed coins during footies. This stuff is really easy to do. Uh, I just, I always buy golds for footies, man, because I just feel like it's the way to go. The SBC before, uh, the SBC before this, I believe was Bakayoko, right? So Bakayoko was before this Bakayoko. Uh, let's see, Bakayoko squad building challenge. What was the cheapest solution? So Bakayoko guys was an 82 rated, right? And this is why I want to tell you guys. Bakayoko was an 82 rated player. Um, number of players from France, one number of players from premier league, one 86 rating 60 chemistry. Okay. So that 
means that honestly Bakioko was what an 82 rated so Bakioko got a plus nine to 91 rated and they were did an 86 rated squad so Martial is going to be probably 91 92 it's probably going to be the same rating requirements I think EA rates Martial is probably the same overpoweredness as Bakioko so what you guys could also do is obviously we didn't see a lot of golds in that solution right obviously like I, I see that guys there wasn't a ton of golds in that solution here's what I'm going to do with you guys is the next part of investing in this video we're going to go team of seasons and we're going to go 90 to 94 rated and we're going to see what comes up wow so wow okay okay there, there's some of this I really like now there's one there's two that I really like and that's going to be it's going to be Remy and Lucas Hernandez and the reason why I like these so much is they're French uh, if you can if you can toss in the cheapest if you can toss in the cheapest team, if you can toss in a 90 rated team of the season that's French uh, that's gonna go up a lot okay I like that a lot so I'm looking at Lucas Hernandez um, and obviously if you see that like Toko Akambi being a 92 rated and he's 22k Kradecki you see Nils Peterson 94 rated 25k Right? Th that stuff is great. That stuff is great. And we'll get on the market right now and go and look at some of this stuff. Because, honestly, you can't go wrong with investing in this kind of stuff. Like, you just can't. There's no way. Look at this. 24,000 coins. 23,000 coins for this. Okay. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to pick up a few of these guys. Um, 24. We're just going to get a few uh, to get ready. We're going to get a few of these guys. Uh, and then we're going to put them in the transfer list. Those guys are ready to go. We've got a few more transfer spots left. I gotta be careful. I gotta sell some more of my Glicks. I have a lot of Glicks. Um, I wanted to check out Rami, I think. He's a 90 rated. Um, let's see what he's at. Rami's a 90 Wow. And that's for a center back, too. So you've got a center back at 90 rating uh, for that price is banging. That's such a good investment, man. And honestly, you look at the first two footies SPCs. This is what I was saying, like... I was kind of telling some of you guys, like, I was going to wait to invest for footies to see how the first few SBCs panned out. Now we kind of know what they're doing, right? So now we have a, a general sense of what these guys are going to come out with. Um, and now I'm looking through solutions, and it, all these team of the seasons are in solutions. So a, a player like Martial, a player like Bakayoko, like, overpowered players that a lot of people are going to go go do as an SBC are the players that will go up like crazy. Um, like, they will have... These kind of investments and these kind of things will be going up because of the idea, um, because of the idea that that they're so easy to, so so in demand, right? So everyone's gonna go run around and try to go got, try to go do it. So they're gonna all figure out what's the cheapest way. And I think this way with 60 chemistry, a French player and a Premier League player, if you pick up cheap team of the season that are 90 plus rated that are French for like 23, 24, 25k, it's a great look. I think that that ultimately is a little bit better of a look than the golds. I like the golds. I think the golds are going to jump, especially with a player like Martial. But at the same time, I really, really like the inside. I really, really like the idea of those cheap team of the seasons, especially the French ones. The French ones for me knock it out of the park with an investment. I think that those are so fucking safe. Um, and you guys can see, I'm going to be holding my screams, uh, probably selling during Martial's SPC. A lot, a lot of demand for Martial. Guys, we're holding guys like Kimmich and things like that. I'm just holding on for now. Obviously, we didn't expect totally. Um, I don't think any of us full on expected uh, that everything would drop out like this. So I would just hold all that stuff. And then obviously, golds, team of the seasons, that kind of stuff. I'm looking forward to investing in. I think it's all pretty good looks. Guys, if you enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up. Some live investing today on, on, on this video. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. Um, I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. We're going to have footies, Marshall. Should be Thursday, right? Thursday, footies, Martial. So you guys have a few days to invest. Um, and this is what I'm thinking. So guys, genuinely hope you guys enjoyed it. Drop a comment down below if you guys have any questions. Um, and thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the video soon. Peace out.